Did you know that any sewing machine with a zigzag feature can use a double needle or twin needle? Let me show you a couple tricks about using them, how to thread it, and what you should know about different widths. So twin needles can actually be used decoratively, which is what I'm going to show you. You can use them to simulate that double row of stitching on the bottom of, say, a t-shirt or something stretchy. And often used, they are been used for pin tucks. That's how they can kind of grip the fabric and make it pinch a little bit. So on a needle package, you will notice like this one says 2.0. That means that those two needles are two millimeters apart. This one it says three and this one says four. But just because you put a needle on the machine doesn't mean you can just pick any old stitch. You are definitely going to need to adjust your stitch width because have you noticed if you pick a decorative stitch, the width comes up at the maximum setting, which is usually six millimeters. So if you put a 2.0 double needle on, you are going to need to narrow that down to four millimeters or less. So six minus two is four, and so that's what we're looking for. Next, for threading the machine, what we're gonna do, oh, did I catch that? I did, I cut that thread on my way up. We'll unthread it. There we go, put our double needle back in. So I usually always recommend to my students, start with a straight stitch. And again, that means that the needle's gonna be in the center and we won't have to worry about it hitting anything right off. Now, as you take two threads in your hand, go ahead and come through the first guide and the second guide like normal. Then right here, did you have you noticed there's a little fin here? There's actually a separator. So each thread is gonna go one on one side, one on the other, and they'll each get equal tension when that goes, when the thread goes down through the machine. So I am gonna give it, hold it here and give it a little tug, make sure it gets nice and seated down in there. Then I'll take both the threads, thread them uh, together through the last guides. And then for the needles, <laughs> now this would be where it would be nice. The needle threader does not work because it doesn't know the needles are separated now. So you will need to have uh, thread it by hand or use a handheld needle threader to do this, but we'll just do it the, the old fashioned way. But boy, you get dependent on that needle threader and all of a sudden this is like a little challenge here. Okay, so it doesn't matter which thread goes in which needle, so that they can flip flop once you get down to the area at the bottom. So first off, we're gonna test and just make sure that everything is threaded correctly. Usually I'll start sewing a little bit slower, not just go racing off just in case. Everything sounds good. Now, if I go to pick a stitch, now just by picking it, you will need to touch the plus on the zigzag and check the width. Did you see that it said four? So I need, that would be the max that this stitch could stitch, otherwise I'd break it. So I might even bring it down to three. And it's still gonna make a pretty big swing left to right with as a stitch. But what's really fun is if you wanna try it with some of the other stitches. So if we go to stitch 14, once again, oop, too big. So I'll bring it down. I'm gonna just do three and a half and then go ahead and stitch. These stitches just start to ha take on a whole nother look. Now some may not look as great as others, but you definitely can have fun trying them out. Remember you can um, hem, you can do pin tucks. Um, I have free motion quilted with a twin needle. Yes, you can, but look at the results that you're going to get. You're gonna have some fun. And right now I have a variegated thread and a solid color in the machine. So, I mean, the combinations of colors can be infinite. So just make sure that when you pick a stitch, you need to adjust the width check the width. And just because you adjusted it on one stitch, when you go to the next one, it will go back to the default, which is probably six or five, okay? And then it can, um, it, you'll need to reduce each one. Same thing once you turn that machine off and back on, it doesn't remember changes. So keep that in mind if you leave a double needle on overnight. So have some fun, try out some stitches. It's like doubling the amount of stitches that you have built into this machine.